I think it's you have to run to the left instead of uh, like you you run to the left and then you run to the left again. The, use the left door in the cathedral ward and then run left. And then go left again. Don't go down the steps, the the pull out steps underneath the tomb. Don't go there. Go the other way. So basically, no one survives. None of the good pe none of the nice people in this game survive. Oh, I can see the fucking spider that swoops you up. Yep. Alright, run left, he says. Yeah, down those steps. And then instead of going inside that big cathedral place and inside down the stairs to the tomb, go left up the steps with the two dogs and the guy shooting. Oh, yeah, I know where I am now. Haven't been here in a while. This is crazy, man. This is terrible. Nobody survives. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. The fucking skeleton, uh, skeleton, on the what was it? That asks you for a password, but is already dead. Yep. This is some weird shit, man. <laughs> Radiance. Who's this? He killed, what? He killed himself. He committed suicide. Oh, fuck this, man. <laughs> Forget it. Goodbye. Let's just beat the game already. No, I'm wait. done. No, no, no. We're not done. Okay. Now, um, you got what you needed to get from him. Use the bolt hunter's mark so you don't have to walk all the way back. And then what the fuck, back man? To the dream. So you have this nice guy who loves to have conversation, he talks about everything, he's a pretty good guy, he says, oh, let's cooperate, then he turns into a psychopathic pyramid head killer with a wheel, murders someone until there's literally nothing left, indescribable flesh, and then he commits ritualistic suicide. Yeah, this this was this is my favorite plot line so far in the whole game. Wait, dude, it's not even over yet. Oh, it's not even over. <laughs> What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is like this is like the Edgar Allan Poe. Like if the other Dark Souls games were like you know maybe Thoreau, maybe some Walt Whitman, this is certainly the Edgar Allan Poe of Dark Souls, man. <laughs> okay, when you get back to Hunter's Dream, teleport to the Altar of Despair. Oh great! So now let me guess that statue in the back of it. I can finally do something yeah, with it. Yeah, you can. I'm just going to point out that, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this playthrough, I would have never figured any of this shit out. <laughs> so this is all thanks to Instant Retreat, because I would have never understood any of this nonsense. <laughs> I might have gotten, like, maybe one step, you know? Like, I might have done something, I don't know. I might have found the Forbidden Summons, but I would have never figured this out. Yeah, okay. So basically, I'll break down what happens. Margot Lugarius hates the Vile Bloods because of what they do, because they're vampires, and he doesn't like them. Mara Ligarius, like I said, give, creates the crown of illusion, so, it, cause, because she's unkillable. So basically, he puts the crown on her, and then puts the crown on that place, and basically no one can find it because it's all covered up by an illusion, because he can't kill her. Then, Mara Ligarius defends the place until he dies, until he, like, until he dies. Then, his, um, his servant or his apprentice which the guy you met like who was all happy and cheery and wanted to do co-op and like wanted to be friendly and stuff he like finds out Mar what Lar Marta Lugarius did and like the vile blood they're still alive so when you meet the queen you get the summons that basically gives him the key to get there he was searching yeah he can ride the ghost yeah, carriage he was white he was searching for the place to get there like he was desperately trying to find a way to get there and then you gave it to him so then he kills the queen, the unkillable queen, and then like he's finally accomplished his mission, he loses his mind, he kills himself because he's done. And so then that's it. Then go to the altar of despair. Once wait, are you there yet? Offer the flesh? Yeah, offer the flesh. Oh shit. Time flows in reverse for this scrap of flesh. Okay. What's happening? The water became incredibly pixelated, so I'm very scared right now. What do I do? 
Uh, just, I think keep talking to Altair. I'm not sure. No, it says do nothing. Uh, wait, you already offered it? Then, um, go well, back up, I think. I'm fucking scared, man. <laughs> this is some spooky shit, man. Alright, the water is literally pixelated right now. I'm looking on the video and it is literally squares. <laughs> so this is this is getting very crazy right about now. Where was the the blood? I don't I don't I don't even think I have it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Okay, well. Kin cold blood. Alright, let me see. Let me no, maybe she's respond. I don't know. It's like it consumed it. Yeah, I can do nothing with this. What? What? It, what is this alter even? All right, let okay, me go back. Okay, yeah, go back to Caners. So this guy kills himself, and I just... Oh my god! <laughs> go back. <to> the <laughs> best fucking plot line ever. He's my friend, so I let him. Basically murder someone horribly. <laughs> fucking... Oh, go back ridiculous. to Kaner. Yeah, go back to Kaner. Let him murder someone ridiculously. I can't stop him from committing suicide. Now I make sure his death is in vain. <laughs> Vile Blood Queen's Chamber. There she is, perfectly fine. Yeah, he did all that. Wow. She's unkillable, bro. You can't kill her. What do I do? I mean, you can just join, you can just talk Neil before her again. It's nothing. It's nothing. I just want to show you that arc. Like you don't. It's you can join her covering again. It's like it's just like she never died. It's the same thing. Yeah, she doesn't even mention that some guy brutally <laughs> murdered. Like I've I've seen a lot of anime. I have seen a lot of, you know, I've played a lot of video games, <laughs> but I have very rarely ever seen someone get murdered to the degree she just got destroyed. Like, I've seen Attack on Titan where people get bitten in half, like, just clean through. You know, I, I've seen, like, Elf and Lied, you know, Goku Koku. Yeah. I have never seen some <laughs> shit like that, man. Like, that is just utter destruction. All right, Murgo's loft in the middle. Yeah, middle, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to show you that arc real quick. I mean, but what is the like? What is the ultimate resolution of it? You know, like he, he's dead, dead, and she she doesn't even act like it even happened. <laughs> like, what does that alter have to do with stuff? Like, is that did that fall from the cosmos? Yeah, she um the they basic she her her flesh the since it comes from the cosmos, I'm pretty sure it just it causes the like it said time to reverse. So it basically activated her bio blood um, ability and made it so she would re resurrect. Because of our bloods, um, when in exchange for like feeding off of other people, like like vampires, they get immortality. So I think that's what activated her immortality by putting on the altar of despair. I don't know, man. All right, are you ringing your bell? Oh uh, yeah, let me ring it. Okay. Okay, I ring it. Yeah, but that's that little segment there. It's just I don't even know. Like, <laughs> what's the lasting impact of it? He freaking, he freaking did all that for nothing, man. He thought he finally accomplished his goal. At least we. At least. I mean, he died happy. Yeah, you know? he did. He did. He died with all. Smiles. I'll give him that. Like, he died happy. Like, how many people in real life and in video games can die with no regrets? You yeah, know. He died out with all smiles. Well, I don't know if he was smiling because he was wearing a fucking paper bag on his head, but... Like, like he couldn't find anything else, you know? Like, he had to put a paper bag. Like, you know what that is? Oh, what, what, I've seen that shape before. It's like, um... If you go to, like, a festival or something, mm -hmm. and, like, or it's like a bug catcher's net, but it's, like, made of paper instead. But it's like if you go to a festival, yeah, yeah. and, you know, people run around with sticks with paper on the end of it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that a bit, you know, and, like, they put lantern or, or whatever. It's weird. Yeah. 
He's, he's, he's trying to be a pyramid head. He's a Silent Hill reject, and <laughs> then he went. So he goes back to the Cathedral Ward, right? You know, his life is great and all, and then he hears that Kojima has been laid off from Silent Hills. So he just goes crazy, he puts on a pyramid head paper mask, and he fucking kills himself. That's what that's what really happened. He found out that Kojima wasn't working on it anymore. They laid him off. Or well, no, they haven't laid him off. Excuse me. As of right now, Konami's official response is he's a contractor and he will continue to work with us. Bullshit. They're laying him off. They fired him. They're just contractually obligated to work with him on Metal Gear. That's all. <laughs> they freaking laid. Found out Kojima got laid off. <laughs> Put on a Kojima. Kojima is getting fired from Konami on September 1st, if not September 2nd. I promise you. Yeah. The second that Phantom Pain is released, he's out. Annalise is Konami. He wanted to freaking kill Konami, <laughs> but he. Did. Oh, there you go. But he couldn't. Konami just resurrected. And he, like. Well, I don't know, man. That's not that realistic. What does Konami even have in the real world? Yeah, nothing. Pro Evolution Soccer, are you ready for that? <laughs> I can't wait. Pro Evolution Soccer, right? Like, no, like, who knows about this FIFA shit? Everyone just plays Pro Evolution. Pro. What about DDR? DDR. You like DDR? They have Yu-Gi-Oh too. Yeah, you like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is still a, uh, it's still relevant, right? I mean, what's the year? Two thousand and three. <laughs> it's yeah, it's relevant. Oh, it's a baby. Okay. Here we go. We gotta ride this down. I think we can ride it together. Nope! <laughs> okay, well, right before you go down, there's gonna be a window. Jump off at that location. Like, before you get to the bottom, there's gonna be a window. Jump off there. Alright, I see the window, actually. Yeah, okay, just pull the lever. <coughs> what? Is, is, is this still the year 2003, people? Kids still regularly collect uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? <laughs> I ought to show off my Yu-Gi-Oh cards sometime in a in a mail day or something because I actually had a pretty decent collection of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon that I basically never used. And I'm wondering if in like a few years maybe I could try to flip it, you know? Yeah, it'd probably be worth some money if you have the like older cards that aren't getting reprinted. I got a few. I got a few. Oh, goodbye. Woo! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> and then she rings the bell. As I said, ask not for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> that was great, man. You know what happened? Is I rolled a little bit too early, so, yeah, so you I, hit the top I rolled... Yeah. And I hit the top of it, I think, where I hit I hit something, and I slipped in between the bottom and the and the cage, and it just immediately killed me. It just said, "Yeah, you're dead." <laughs> Wait, hopefully your souls are. I didn't even fall to my death. It it just said, "Yeah, you're dead." Hopefully your souls are. Um... Yeah, my souls will be fine. All right, what I'm gonna what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna summon you yet. Let me make that jump first. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, I'll summon me at like once you make the jump, because I'll be there too. I can make the jump in my own. Way. Oh, they're right here. Sweet. All right, here we go. Part two. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wait until you go past the white thing. There's like a. Oh, there I go again. Uh, Whee! Yeah. Oh, this time they actually let me fall to my death. <laughs> it's like a white. Just wait. Just wait. And she rings the bell for me. <laughs> That's great. That's too funny, man. Because <laughs> I slip right out, like, in that little, like, triangular-shaped thing. Yeah. Slip right out. Oop, goodbye. Fall to my death. Oh, all right. Really quickly. Uh, take out my earbuds. Take off my headset. Let me open up the window because it's, it's hot. Mm-hmm. Not all the way, but, like, maybe, like, half. Of course... Uh, now that I've opened up the window, the police are going to start driving by back and forth. Oh yeah, by the way, this game, when you beat, when you beat, not the first boss, but the secret boss, the minute you beat him, it goes instantly to New Game Plus, so. Oh, sweet. 
if you don't want to, just use the Bold Hunter mark after you fight this, the secret boss. Alright. I'm sure you'll let me know what's going on when we get there. Yeah. Here we go. Finally! Holy shit! Alright, what's even in here? Okay, wait, don't venture any further. Ring your bell. Like, don't... Don't go on... Have you run yours? Just open up the chest and then stay there. Like, don't... Make sure you stay behind there is the no wall. Chest. Cause there's a mother brain right there. Alright, I'm just gonna wait by the lift where it drops off. Yeah, yeah, just wait right Alright, did you ring your bell? Yeah, I rang mine. Alright, ring mine. <coughs> it's just fucking creepy at this point. Yeah, it really is. But I, I mean, I wonder, are we all just in someone's dream? Yeah, we need, um, maybe, maybe. we're gonna need, uh, make sure you have sedatives. Alright, sedatives, yep. Gonna need to also have a high frenzy resistance as well. Yeah, yeah, because you're gonna need to use uh, a lot of them. They're, this is frenzy central here. All right, let me keep the hunter's mark out so I can see when you get here. But I mean, yeah. Because what, we have the Great Ones, people are trying to ascend to these godlike Great Ones. Yeah. We have the, the Lecture Hall, with all the crazy stuff going on in there. We have Patches, who's here for, I, I don't know if it's any canon reason, it's probably just an Easter egg. Yeah, it's just an Easter egg. I don't think there's any ties between this and the Souls games, besides, you know, the same person that makes it. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking, oh, here you go, found you. But I, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, I don't know, maybe they tried to transcend to another dimension and maybe they engulfed a, a, the entire town in a dream. Mm -hmm. And then there's the hunter's dream, and I don't know. I don't know where the beasts tie in. I don't know why hunting the beast ties in. And apparently this isn't the first time this has happened, because yeah. there's the different knights. Yep. There you are. Get the chest first. So we'll see. We'll get to the end here, and it'll hopefully make sense to me. An inflicted organ. The brains, the brains are kind of, kind of retarded. Oh fuck! Oh yes, give him a nice kiss. How many people can say they French kiss a brain? It's a meeting of the minds, a once in a lifetime event. It's a meeting of the minds. <laughs> Ew, that reminds me of fucking Evil Within, man. So I don't want to get friends with you, correct? Yeah, if you get friends with you, you're finished. Has so much damage. Like you, you wanna, you wanna be full health. If you're getting frenzy, you might wanna be Christ. Like, well, I, I didn't know you guys were that intimate yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's my turn. No. It's my turn. <laughs> oh okay. I'm still getting. Whoa. That was weird. You were stuck in the That animation. was weird. But there's an item. There's an item. I think it's right here, or it's, it's right, it's right. I, I grabbed something, I think, while you were okay. screwing around. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Ew. The spider, oh, up. Oh. You can just skip there them, we, we can just run past them, you don't need to fight them. The fucking spider! Move, 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 move. I got no health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the fucking spiders, man. You might want to heal again, because it's frenzy. Um, pull the lever. There's a hole in the, yeah, the floor. Yeah, we'll drop down after. Oh, cutscene. This game has a lot of cutscenes, I'll say that. For a, for a From game. What? Oh, there we go, there's our mother brain. 
Are we chasing after it? Yeah, we're gonna go kill it. Um, first drop down this hole right there. Don't, don't drop that way, you'll die, yeah. First drop this way. It's still hot in my room. <laughs> Oh, fucking fuck, man. Oh, there's two spiders that way. Alright, I gotta walk this tightrope, otherwise I die. Fuck, I hate this shit. <laughs> oh, are you ready? It's time for Six Axis. <laughs> it's time for Six Axis. Freaking Uncharted. This is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, right? Uncharted. It's time for Six Axis. I freaking... Yeah, how many PlayStation games have mandatorily used Six Axis in a while, you know? Yeah. Freaking hated Uncharted when you had to use the Six Axis. Yeah, Uncharted. Uh, I don't think Last of Us did. So even Naughty Dog knows not to do it. Yeah, we gotta go back. Heavy Rain... That's really it. Like, no games ever used that. And they took out Rumble on the original controllers for that, I remember. Yeah, the PS3 had a weird a weird beginning. Okay, here's where you get all your items from. That was weird. I'm not gonna lie. Great One's Wisdom. Arcane Damp Blood Gem. Great One's Wisdom. Damn, so there was a big... A big... Oh, you can go over here. Well, I guess that's how we chase it down. Great Ones Wisdom. A bunch of Great Ones all got slaughtered here. Is there anything over here? I know there's something down the steps, but I don't... I wonder, like... Because, you know, Madman's Knowledge is one insight, but Great Ones, I think, is like three or five. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder, what were they, what were they doing here? I don't think you can unlock the gate yet, so... Oh, iron door key. Where does this lead to? Wait a minute. It leads to the dude. Mira, Mira, what's his name? Not Mirabu. That was yeah, Mimi. Mikolash. That there's the bridge. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, don't want to be here. Yeah, we want to go back. Okay. Mikolash. I don't remember how to get there. Oh, I just go back from the bonfire. I go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, here, here we go. Uh oh. Can't even see what I got. I wonder what they were doing here. Like, were they trying to figure out the secrets of the nightmare, and they all died? Yeah. Ow. There's no safe way down. No, you just gotta drop. Just don't drop in the hole. Get this item over here. Blood rock. Yep. There you have it. That's that's where you get it. The one and only in the game. A blood rock. Just uh, just. Oh shit! Just walk past that. Oh, now you tell me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I mean, <laughs> you know what happened. He popped in on my screen. He yeah, wasn't there. Yeah, me too. Okay, over he here. He popped in. Um, I think the cage is to the right. You have to... Wait, did you get the item? Oh, yeah. We've been here. These do not sound like children. I don't even think God of War 3 used six axes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How was that motion control craze? <laughs> All that shit's gone. Even Nintendo doesn't do it anymore. Yep. Okay, over here. The cage is right here. Oh, that leads downward? Yeah, you go in first. Well, knowing me, I probably would have jumped off first. And then died. That's what you do in Metroid Prime, right? And that was Mother Brain. Oh shit. I'm going literally into the great black nothing. 
Oh, fuck me. Are you for real? The this is scary as shit, dude. It's the Abyss Walker again. Do I need a special ring or do I just step out? No, I just step up. Oh, well, looks like I'm going back up. Whoop, goodbye. You're going, going back, back up? I see it over there. Fuck this. Nope. I can't. I cannot. I can see it over there, dude. Nope. You first. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you, you didn't need to hit the lift again. It brings another one up when you go down. Oh, shit. No, Don't be fucking standing there. Oh, dude, my go God. Back down. This guy is standing here and covered in blood with two knives out. <laughs> I'm like, oh my fuck, you, you want me to piss myself. Um, I know you do. Get the step out, dude, you won't die. I this is fucking stupid, die. man. Just, this is this is ridiculous. I can, I can see it there. Oh my god, dude. It is all thanks to contact. I have no clue what that means. Fear contact. I'm waiting for you, dude. I would have never done this shit. I don't have the balls for this. <laughs> I don't have it, man. This is crazy. The Moonlight Lake I could get behind. This is just... This is the opposite. <laughs> There's nothing. It's literally nothingness. Okay. Here we go. Literally what they did is they rendered out this fucking room, and then they didn't even change anything for down here. It doesn't attack. I'm being serious. It doesn't I, I, I know exactly how they made this nonsense. It doesn't attack. I know exactly how they made it. They rendered out that room above, and every room in a game is basically floating in an abyss. <laughs> and they just made this walkable, you know? Yeah. Living string. I wonder if there's like a limit. Why would you go up first? Bye bye. Time to leave <laughs> you in the darkness, probably. That reminds me of that time. I know that um. I didn't put it on YouTube, but Sergio once showed me this uh, this copy pot or the you know how you have gifs, yeah, images that constantly update and change. Yeah, yeah. Well, he showed me one of them, and it was it was like a, a creepy pasta, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, what you need to do is you need to go into your closet, you need to close the door while while holding your computer. I know, right? It's weird. <laughs> you need to hold a match out in front of you, and you need to say the a specific phrase. I think it was like, show me the light or leave me in darkness. And the thing is, and this is why I don't click on GIFs anymore, <laughs> is every 30 seconds, a s skeleton head is jumps out at you uh, on that GIF. Wow. And I didn't know that. And my reaction to that has is literally one of the most legit spooking things I've ever had in my life. Like, that, I I'm dead, by the way. <laughs> but that is one of the most legit spooking things I've ever had in my life. Oh, there you go. It's alright. We were done. That was fucking ridiculous. We were dude. done. Once we got the brain, we're done. Alright, yeah, let me get my souls. That's a lot of souls. Oh, great. Now I gotta figure out how to get back down okay, there. Okay, what you do is you take the, um, you know, the broken lift? You know how you had to jump off? You just ride it all the way down. Oh, okay. And then it's. But yeah, I, I should probably post that in uh, some video eventually if anyone, anyone ever reminds me or anything. I don't know if I've ever played it for anyone that's not you, and I, do, I didn't save the fucking GIF because, it, you know, obvious reasons. Yeah. So just take the take the lift all the way down to the very bottom. Take take the broken lift, then take the working one all the way down to the bonfire. I don't know, um, yeah, I'll do that. But I don't know if uh, how many people watching this video know about my computer that I use for school and for rendering, but, um... It's it's pretty expensive. I'll I'll put it like that. Like it's over two thousand or about two thousand. Yeah, I almost broke the fucking screen. Damn. I almost I punched that shit. I almost broke it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting invaded. Oh, fuck my life, dude. You can still get your souls. Go all the way to the bottom quickly. I'm fucked. He's gonna fucking backstab my ass. It's over. No, dude, you're fine, dude. Just go to the bottom. I'm fucked. Go to the bottom quickly. He won't know where you are because when you invade it, you usually spawn. All right, where do I go? Where do I go? The bottom? Yeah, where, where, where? Yeah, use the broken lift. You know the one where you had to hop off? Yeah, do I use it at the yeah. other one as yeah. well? Yeah, go all the way to the other platform, then take the other one, the working one, all the way down. Fuck. Oh. Now what? I'm back at the bonfire. Okay, now take the elevator, not not the little lift, the elevator, like through the door. Take the elevator. 
so fucked. <laughs> and then you should be in the air. Oh shit, dude, the, the elevator moves faster than the camera can keep up. And then you should be in the area where um where the babies were. And then just run down I don't remember how to get there. And then run down the steps to the right. It should be straight into your right. Alright, yeah, I got it. And then you're this guy is gonna fuck me up, dude. He won't know where to find you yet. And then just uh, run back to the bonfire. Um, that she has my souls. Yeah, kill her. Then go all the go back to the the Murgo bonfire. The middle Murgo. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm getting bullied. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. I'd be dead. I'd prefer not to die right now, considering how many souls are on the line. Can do it. You can do it. Not with these little shits fucking sniping me with arrows. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. You died. No, but I'm I can't I can't heal, dude. I can't I can't I can't fucking heal. <laughs> I'm dead. You are how many souls did you lose? I didn't die, but I'm I'm at no health. I didn't want to attack. Okay, I'm dead. Whoop! Goodbye. Wait, you lost all your souls? Eh, I lost like 120. Well, whatever. He's gone home. He didn't kill me. Okay. Oh, I fucking accidentally scratched R1 and I attacked instead of healing. Whatever. Okay. That's annoying. I'll show you where the farm spot is. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, go back to the middle. I ring my, I ring my bell. Yeah, I'm gonna already be there. Ugh. I don't even need to level up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright, where do I go? Okay, I just ring it. Bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. <laughs> 